Hey, welcome you all. My name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, today when I up updated my Excel for the latest uh, updates, I found two important functions loaded. It seems today they introduced into the market. I found a value to text is one of the function under the text category and uh, array to text is one more function introduced. You can go to the formulas. You can go to the text category. This is what the function they introduced and this is what the function they introduced. Today my topic is how and where we can use these functions. Let me go and first explain you how generally we convert any number into the text. Let me take the sample of the numbers. I can take maybe equal to random between. As you all know the random between function will give you the some random numbers. I can copy paste special values so that these values will not change. These all are the numbers. How do you know that these all are the numbers? I can simply use a function is number. You can just copy paste because all these values are numbers. It has given true. What is the method we use to convert this into the text? There are three different methods which I use. If you are using other than these three methods, you can put into the comment box. One method, you know what I use. This is method what I can say. I earlier used to take this, join with, I'll put blank text. When you're trying to join this with the blank text, when you use the ampersand symbol, by default, the result is always a text. So if I enter, let me copy and paste below. This is a text. How do you know that this is a text? Let me take a formula is text. I'm sure the answer is true. Or else I'll go into the same concatenation. I'll use a function called concatenate. Maybe you can even take a concat if you are using Office 365. Or else even you can take a text join. Let it be for the time being concat or concatenate. Even this is there for 2007 version users and even now it is available. If I take this value, concatenate function result is always a text. Now if I enter, copy and paste, check it out. Is it a text or number? Is text. It is true. This is one more method through which I can convert this into the text. There is one more other method which I follow. That is nothing but method 2. Sorry, spell mistake. Method 2, I use a function called text. What this function does? It can take any value and it can convert into the format what you ask for. Format text has to be always covered in the double quotation. I can take this, comma, this, comma, this, comma, this, this, 0, dot, 0, 0, if you want decimals. If not, leave it. So that it's going to convert this into the text format. Is text. Copy and paste. Or else I follow one more method. I'm just copying this data and I'm pasting here. Otherwise, you can directly take this data. Go to the data tab. Go to text to column. Click next. Click next. Are you finding here the format? What do you want for this column? Let me select the text. Now, destination where you want to get this data. I want my data to be pasted here. Now, let me click finish. Check it out. This is also the text. Is a text. Copy and paste. Now, friends, other than these, there is one more method we have. We can do this by using a function called value to text returns a text representation of a value now if i take this close bracket simple my job is over my job is over if you observe now let me check it out first of all is it a text yes this is a text if you look into the value to text function this is having two arguments First argument is what value. Second argument is in which type of format you want to convert. 
Zero means by default means concise. That means whatever the value is there, it's going to convert into the normal format. That's nothing but a text format. When you put the strict, strict is basically it will even take the escape characters. Escape characters means when you, we are writing a text in the formula, when we decode it, text comes in a double quotation at the back end. That is what an escape character. When we refer a range, when we decode a range, you will find the flower brackets that turn into an array. That flower brackets are nothing but the escape characters. If you put one, it's going to give you at the back end, are there any escape characters? It will consider. For the numbers, for example, equal to, let me take this value. If I select this and put F9, even at the back end, just now the shortcut I have used F9, even at the back end, this is 247. That's the reason you will not find much difference in case of value to text referring a number to either 0, by default it is anyway we have used, or even you can take instead of 0, 1, both are one and the same. Because at the back end, there are no escape characters. Whereas, now let me take some of the random text values. So I'm equal to rand between. To generate the random text, we have a function. I can simply take equal to character function. Use the rand between 65 to 90. It's going to give you as per the ASCII. 65 is basically uppercase A. 90 is uppercase Z. So I asked a rand between between 65 to 90. It's going to give you something between A to Z. Now let me put the text values inside the value to text. What will happen if I close it? Anyway, it's a text. So the same value will come. Right? Now let me copy this, paste special values. Otherwise, because it's a random between function, it will keep on change. Now, I have taken this value into the value to text. Because anyway it is a text, there is no difference you can find. But friends, when I take this value normally, when I select this, and if I click F9, F9 is to decode. If I want to see at the back end how Excel is understanding, let me put F9. You are finding in the double quotation. But normally when I just select this, you are not getting, even when I select as a value to text, you are not getting the double quotes. Those double quotes are calling as a escape characters. Now this, now let me take a strict. So if I use one, even the double quotation also will come. Let me copy and paste this. Everything comes with a double quotation. Right? So I'm sure this can bring a lot of value for the use cases. Since we had to go into the this formula, sorry, this function had to evolve. It will take little time to go and look into the used cases. In fact, I'm doing a lot of R&D on these functions. Maybe in coming videos, I'm going to give you in a real-time case studies where this function can be useful. In fact, you can ask me with respect to numbers. It's very much useful normally to convert this into the text. These are very big formulas we write. Instead, you can simply write a function called value to text. Right? So let's look for the dates, how it converts. I want to take some random dates. As you all know, random between will give you the random date function. Let me take till from 2010, January 1st, date 2018, 12, 31st. It's going to give you from 1st January 2010 till 31st December 2018, random dates. As you know, at the back end, date is nothing but a number. Let me convert this into the date format. Copy a special value. Now when I ask this function, let me pass this date into the value to text. Same number will come in a text format. Just to cross check, is it a text or not? You can ask a question, is it a text? Yes, it is. But friends, let me also clear one of the myth we have. One of the myth we have is when we take numbers, let me copy this, let me paste here. When we change the format here, 
let me change the format as a text now is it a text now no it is still a number let me ask the question is it a text i'm sure the answer is a false because the format here the meaning is how it has to display for the user not for the excel at the back end this is still there as a number but how it appears to the user in this format in the same way let me take 40 to 500 this is a number at the back end but how it has to display for the user as a date format many people think when they convert a number into the text they go here and they'll convert into the text but this is not a text this is a number right and especially let me tell you one more use case where we generally convert a number into the text let me take rand between let me take this time some bigger values let's say 1000 to 10000 copy paste special values let me put the comma format with zero decimals friends when i take this value to my mail merger to the word document using the mail merger do you think this comma also will go there no why because this comma format is only for the user if you observe it as a custom but at the back end how it got stored it got stored as a number only without comma because format is for the user not for the excel when you change here okay so this is the place where we can use value to text this is very important when you put one the meaning is it's going to give you the escape characters also and one more function they introduced array to text so how it has converted a value to the text in the same way let me take the bunch of values let's take the amounts now let's take 10 20 30 normally if i want to refer this range equal to this if I decode this at the back end to see how Excel is understanding, let me click F9. I'm just pressing the key F9 now. You can find it, how Excel understands this. It is an array for the Excel. In the flower bracket, 10 semicolon, 20 semicolon, 30. The meaning is below 10, there is a 20. Below 20, there is a 30. For example, when we have, let, let me keep this as a text. I kept a single quote. Now, for example, when I have 10, 20, 30, when I take equal to this, now when I select this and put F9, because these all values are one after other, you will find with comma, right? Array to text is the function which can convert your array into now let me use zero that means by default it's zero i can even ignore this array will come with the value 10 comma 20 comma 30 and for example if i put one what will happen so array to text let me select this comma one because flower bracket is an escape character that also will come here right now if i change it as a sudden this saran is having an escape character at the back end. That character also will come here. Now this will be like in double quotation saran. But here this 20 will just appear as a saran. Have a look. Now for example, when I have a bunch of data, maybe a 3 by 3 matrix, I can have, let me take this value in the array to text. What happened? If you ignore this by default, it takes zero. Even you can keep it. Let me ignore. But when I take the same thing using one as a second argument, it's going to give me the escape characters also. So in the flower bracket, 10 comma in double quotation saran comma 20 comma excelism. And so I'm sure there may be many used cases on this function. In future because people had to use this I'm sure this function will evolve in a very nice way in future stay tuned my channel subscribe thank you so much bye bye